Hi, I'm Magnus Persson from Voices, and I would like to share with you how I normally set up a project where I have uh, several 360 cameras and uh, 2D video overlays that I want to use in several positions in several scenes. What I normally do is that I create uh, one scene per 360 camera. So scene one here will be one 360 camera, will be my uh, my uh, Ccam S1 that I have standing outside here. So this is live. Scene two will be my Rico Theta S, which is also live outside. Here we go. So now we have two cameras. And then what I do is that I add two other scenes, which I will use for for the overlays. So scene three here, for example, let me just save it. Scene three will be camera one with overlays. So I will add child scene mirror camera one. Now we have camera one here. And then scene four need to save that as well scene 4 will be a scene mirror of camera 2 and now here comes the trick what I usually do is that I add a scene per 2d video source so scene 5 here will be for my 2d video I need to save this as well And uh, on this scene, I will add a virtual screen or 2D video. Normally, this would be something you capture on a capture card. It's a live video coming in, but in this case, I'm going to play it from a file because I don't have any live feed coming in here. So I'm going to open one of the 2D videos I have here. So here we go. And what I normally do with my 2D videos is to add a nice frame around it to cover sort of the borders of the videos that could come out a bit uh, jerky otherwise. So I would add child, image, open image, and then I have a frame picture here. So and then I would scale this up. This is a PNG, which has a transparency also outside the the border so that I know that I'll take I will actually use the anti-aliasing of Photoshop here so I need to scale this one down in 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 on the x-axis so I need to unlock and scale it down now I think this looks pretty pretty good good second trick is that I want to position this video as close to the center of the scene as possible. So usually like a value of minus 0 0.01 could be useful. Now it's pretty close to the center. So now we're done with the uh, scene five. What I also usually do is that I give this a name like 2D video. Scene three would be my cam one with effects scene 4 would be my cam 2 with effects and now when I've given them name and everything and we go into producer mode we can see them all here camera 1 camera 1 with effects camera 2 camera 2 with effects and then we have our 2d video down here so let's Let's add the 2D video on top of camera one here. Uh, so to do that, now it's very simple since we have already prepared the, the scene five. I will just have to do add child, scene mirror, 2D video, and here it comes. And then I have to push it, push it back a little bit. So maybe minus 0 0.05 or something like that. Oh, that was too close. Minus 0 0.5 is a better value. Or even further back. Uh, 
uh, and let's say you want another video then it's very easy I'll just move this aside and then then we do add child scene mirror into the video again push it back something like that and as you can see now uh, since we position this video very close to the center of its own scene we can rotate it around its own axis in a good way I'll go to the player mode here see so now it's very easy to position it in for example let's say we want it on, on top of the house there So, so very easy to add the videos and to rotate them so that they get in, in the position you want them. And of course, if I want more videos now, I would create more scenes with 2D videos and I would add them wherever I want them. And this is now what it looks like. Just can start producing. Thank you for watching. Uh, and good luck with your productions.